My father had taken my brothers and I to the museum ever since we were toddlers. I grew up in the museum, really. It's such a reverent space and people sit with objects and they ponder them and they might get emotional. I'm gonna have different experiences every time I go to that museum. The idea for Verbatim uh, came from many different sources, one of them being the multitude of viewers and the multiple uh, outcomes that are possible with viewing one work. I'm trying to make a verbatim link between a word and my choices on the canvas or in sculpture. Alan's proposal was quite unique. Um, when we saw verbatim and reviewed it during the panel meeting, uh, it stood out. MAEP is unique amongst programs at encyclopedic museums throughout the country in that we have a seven-member panel of elected artists who review and select artist proposals. Uh, the MIA has set aside two very large prominent galleries just for artists living and working in the state of Minnesota. What was interesting about Verbatim is that he was taking what he was already good at and taking it to another level. What he was doing is asking other people to be part of the creative process. Once I received the description form, I literally go through with a highlighter and, and circle or focus in on words that I can use like round or dark or black. Um, and everything else becomes pretty much unusable. So I think a really good example of showcasing the process is this piece, Lucretia. Um, so the person described the painting Lucretia by Rembrandt uh, and used words um, right off the bat, hauntingly emotional, utter despair, um, which are words I can understand when describing something that is emotional, like a painting of Lucretia. Um, but I can't really use those words. So I look throughout the description for cues that I can use. Um, and thankfully she, she mentioned browns, blacks, tans, and white. Um, so that's what turned into this piece, which is basically a color field painting of brown, blacks, tans, and white. Um, I'm very specific with the language. Uh, she did not mention that white was plural, like the others. So I only had one white square. Verbatim is site-specific to the MIA. Um, it's important that the collection within the uh, Minneapolis Institute is addressed in my work. Um, I like that one-to-one -one relationship. And I like that idea of maybe having to go back and search for the original and then maybe get a sense of like how that breakdown happens to replicate as best as possible the words 